Hey everyone, welcome back! Uh, let's go back up to the third floor. That's where we were when I decided to like go back down, right? For the elevator. So let's see. Um, did I check this? Yes, because there was nothing there. We checked the painting, I think. Masked woman walking with a cane, yeah. Door to the right. Ooh, guest room. Dark. Wall. There's an unnatural space along the wall. Unnatural. Going by the stain, it's like something once hung here. Ooh, missing painting. Okay, door. Ceiling, nothing. What's that? Spanish donkey lies in the corner of the room. You call it a donkey? Huh. I don't want to imagine what it was used for. Paintings? The part that looks like it was the neck is broken and the head's missing. Oh. Oh. Like an actual donkey? Figure of a donkey? Inside the glass case are whips and ropes. SM? Rather shoddily made. I doubt they would survive being used. Oh. Bathroom? Door leading into the bathroom, but it won't open. Must be broken. Put my hand on the door and try pulling. It doesn't move at all. Just give up. You might break it if you force it. I mean, wouldn't that open it? Breaking it? Can you use the keyring? Take the emergency keyring out of my bag and check to see if any of the keys fit. None of them seem to work. Okay. Well, I tried. Uh, that's that then. Room on the left. Oh, why is the mask somewhere else now? I don't like that. Large air conditioning unit. Tinted yellow, maybe from tobacco resin. Ooh, yeah. Vase holds some cheap flake, fake flowers. Flake flowers! <laughs> Phone? Bedside table crammed full of stuff. Search it. I look around the bedside table and find... A spoon. <laughs> gross. Were they eating dessert in here or something? Spoon is stained black. Fucking gross. Nothing else? Under the bed. Okay. That's not a thing. Bathroom? Nothing in the shower. It's another mirror. Thin layer of dust coats the mirror everywhere, but one spot which is wiped clean. If I squint, the clean portion looks like a hand. Ooh! Does this belong to someone who snuck in here, or is it the work of someone else? I don't know. Ooh, a dustbin. Toilet paper stuck on the bottom of the trash can, but other than that, it's empty. Ah, oh, fuck. Got excited over nothing. <clears throat> Toilet sectioned off with a glass door. Oh. Open the door and check the toilet. That's unusual. A wallet covered in black stains. Ugh, that's moldy. Try not to breathe it in. Anything inside? Ooh, excuse me. I check inside. Isn't any cash, but... <coughs> Got a credit card. Guess probably dropped this. But the stains make it so I can't read the name on the card. Of course not. We could use that to ID one of the guests. Don't you think you should take it with you? Yeah, you're right. My reply is half-hearted. I'm distracted by the stains. Ugh, I don't mention it to Hiro, but the stains on the cart look like old blood stains. <laughs> For some reason, that's less worse than what I was thinking of being in a love hotel and all. <laughs> I would rather it be blood than something else from a dude. Okay, that was this floor. Let's see if we can go even higher. Take the stairs and exit out into the hallway. Wait, what? Is it the same? Hiro suddenly shouts. Isn't this the third floor? Don't be ridiculous, you're just imagining things. I'm sure she's just mistaken. I shine a flashlight at the floor number plaque. Three. It says we're on the third floor again. Hiro's face goes completely pale. Absurd. We just came up from the third floor. Just as Hiro said, we definitely just climbed up from the third floor to the fourth. 
So why are we back on the third floor? It might just be a weird fluke. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. You're fucked. We climb the stairs again like actors in a play. But... Sure enough, we come back out on the third floor. Okay, well let's hope we're not stuck here now. I hope we can go down again. It's an optical illusion, that's it. There must be a trick with the lights. Hito has completely lost it. I made absolutely sure that we were, we were heading from the fourth floor to the third floor. Wait, you were going back down? Yet yeah, this is obviously the third floor. If we're not hallucinating and this is real, then there are two possibilities. One is that all the floors above the third floor are intentionally made to look like the third floor. The other is that some mysterious power is stopping people from going to the fourth floor. But telling her that will only make things worse. How about we give up on the floor f fourth floor for now? We'll search the places we can get to. Yeah, sure. Okay, so what do we got? A guest book, a spoon, and a credit card. Command, scoop, and range short. <laughs> we can scoop something. We can insert the credit card into something. Was there anything in the lobby downstairs? I thought there was a metal door at some point we could check out, like a gate, like with the... What do you call it again? Chicken wire? I might have said something really weird to you guys, but... Maybe somewhere here? Was there somewhere we needed something thin to have like a latch open, maybe? Painting is clearly out of place. Can you grab that? Picture of a masked woman wearing a wedding gown. Hmm. Maybe that's the one that goes on the wall. Well, we can't check out the lobby anymore, so... Guess I'll just check the floors again? Oh yeah, there was a piece of paper under here. We use the credit card somehow? Suddenly I get an idea. Take out the credit card. Stick it in between the bed and the floor and try to pull out whatever's under there. Yeah! But the object is softer than I thought. I can't get it out. Oh, fuck. Won't work. How about the spoon then? Hmm. The object is softer than I thought. Hmm. Okay. Well, I tried. Ooh, maybe here we can use the credit card. Put it like in between the lock to force it. Hmm. Or not. Ah, oh, fuck. <sighs> Works in movies. This one. Check behind the wire. Oh, right. There's nothing in there. Okay. Ah! Oh, I had to look at it. I spot a crack between the drawer and the top. Object flashing inside and seems to be a lock stopper. Well, I knew that. Oh, he has to get the idea. Can I do it now? Okay. What are you going to do with a credit card? I want to try something. I don't know if it'll work, though. Slowly push the card into the locked gap between the drawer and the top. It's a narrow fit, but I'm able to slide it in without any resistance. The stopper is directly ahead. If I keep sliding the card... Tiny bit of resistance, then it abruptly unlocks. Yeah, nice work. Truly the pinnacle of monkey evolution. <laughs> <coughs> is that really a compliment? In any case, I open the drawer to find Mask Guestbook 201. Mini massager? What? 
Battery operated massager, huh? I'll leave it up. It's a use up to imagination. There are more guest books after all. Let's see. What does it say? I'll look through this one. Firmly take the guest book from Hito. Just learned that it's better not to let her see anything too shocking. Oh, come on. I want to read through it for future reference. What? Girl? Our investigation takes priority. Quickly flip through the pages looking for a clue similar to what we found earlier. Doesn't take me long to find it. It's the last entry in this guest book, just like the other one we found. Something's up. The fuzz hasn't come. Did Sadako really tattle? Mr. N is acting normally too. Sa hasn't been to school recently. That's all I can make out. Hmm. Sounds like the one we read earlier. This fully supports my earlier theory. Yeah, I guess so. There was definitely criminal activity going on here. Those vivid entries prove it. But why wasn't this reported? Good question. This entry makes it sound like she was being backed into a corner. Someone was plainly threatening to tattle, and it was someone they knew, too. They wouldn't be this shaken otherwise. And supposedly, this person reported it to the teach, too. And the entry says that, in the end, the fuzz, aka the police, never came. We can't come to a conclusion just yet. All we can do is speculate. Oh, what the fuck? What happened? Something break? We both freeze for a moment. All is silent. Was there a noise from above just now? Ooh, above? Yeah. Someone might be above us. On the third floor? No one was around when we were, when we were there earlier. Should we go see? Yes. I silently nod. Let me just say first and then we're good. Haha! -ha. Let's go up! Third floor, bitches! Yes? The instant I step foot on the third floor, I suddenly get a chill and stop in my tracks. Hmm? Find something? No, nothing. Just as I'm replying to Hiro. <sighs> I hear a voice from behind me. Oh shit. What do we do? I quickly turn around and shine my flashlight. Who is it? Oh. But all that's there is the door to the emergency stairs that we came from. There's no one there. What's wrong? Did you not hear that voice? A girl. The metal door screeches like a scream and... Ooh, there she is! Suddenly a girl in solid red raincoat is standing in front of us. There she is! She's... Wait, she's human! That ghost story was an utter lie! Hiro, shh. Be quiet. I can hear something. Hmm? A slithering whisper of a voice sneaks up to me. It's the voice of the girl in the raincoat. Muresu. I knew it. I'm so glad I trusted you, sir. Sir? Hiro gives me an odd look from be beside me at my muttering. Seems she can't hear the voice at all. I knew you'd come. But sir... I wonder what she says in Japanese. Oji-san? Who is that woman? The echoey voice is like ice. But strangely enough, I don't feel hatred in it. Just sadness, regret, regret and a quiet plea. I'm going to make sure. Make sure of what? The logical side of me warns not to get pulled in. The Rinko flutters in the, st in the stagnant air. Oh, fuck. Well, prepare to die. Do you come to places like this very often? Uh, let's play it safe? I'm someone she respects. If I were someone she respects, how would I reply? Mm, that you don't come here often? First time. Come with my wife? 
That would be... yeah. That would be nice, right? Yes, of course. Could you tell me, please? Another teacher told me that I'm heartless and don't treasure my friends. What? But if something's wrong, then it's wrong. What am I supposed to do? Oh, did you read out someone? Which is more important, friends or what's right? Well, if she... If she did what's right, then let's go with what's right. Let's just play it her way. Yeah. Okay. So far, so good. Tell me one more thing, please. When people are selling and buying bad things, then who's in the wrong? The seller, I'd say? Both? Because sellers is not even an option. Okay, I did it! Nice! Hey, I did it! Nice! These things always go so wrong. You're really him. All the Amora people died. What? I can just glimpse a twisted smile under the darkness of her hood. Who is this sir? More importantly, who in the world is this girl? Questions swirl around in my head. In that second of hesitation, the figure of the girl sways like a pendulum and disappears into the staircase. And... She goes after her? Hido dashes madly after her. Holy shit, girl! Hido, don't go! I desperately call after her, but there's no reply. Her footsteps echo sharply up the stairs. Up the stairs? Shit. Better follow her. Uh, let's go. Is there a fourth floor now? I expected it, but sure enough, I'm back on the third floor hallway. There doesn't seem to be a way to go up that higher floor in this hotel. But Hito went up, didn't she? Some mysterious power is at work here. But Hito dashed off to head upstairs from the third floor. Maybe she's still on this floor then? If it's impossible to get to the fourth floor, then Hito could still be on this one. Let's search for her then. I step into the guest room. Ooh, cobwebs. Are these spider webs? When I entered just a little while ago with Hiro, these weren't here at all. It's hard to believe it, but this room is covered in spider webs now. Is it a spider girl? I hear the bathroom door open. Ah, there she is. Hiro. So this is where you were. Did we go back in time or something? Hey, uh, Hiro? Are you listening to me? She's acting strangely. Concerned I move closer when... Does she have a mark now? She suddenly starts taking off her clothes. What? Then... Uh... What? Uh, Hiro, what are you doing and why are you wearing that kind of underwear? She looks at me seductively from on top of the bed covered in spider webs. What the fuck, girl? <clears throat> I was waiting for you. Oh. What are you doing? Every word from her lips drips honey. In contrast, my voice only gets sh shriller. This is so not like her at all. Is this really the same Hiro? Gabu. Hiro gracefully slides over the bed and beckons to me suggestively. What are you trying to say? Do you understand the situation we're in? What does it matter? Just take her out of there. You're here, I'm here, isn't that enough? Is she being possessed? I think so. Also, her boobs are not that big when she's wearing her normal, normal clothes. Her pale thighs glow on the bedsheet as she poses seductively. Didn't we find her naked? Yeah, we found her naked with the snakes, originally. She almost looks like a spider preparing to strike at her prey. Oh god. Ah, fuck, I forgot to save the other one. We're all alone. Don't hold back, take a good look. The red raincoat flashes before my eyes. Could it be Hito is acting like this because... Continuing the questions from earlier? 
In that case, a clue would be... What did she say before? Go on, look. What did she say? No thanks, I'm good. Ah, that wasn't good. Oops. Can I still keep going? I should have said have some shame, probably. She starts coughing violently. It's hard to breathe. Please, my back. Pat her back. Take off her bra, rub her back. Pat her. Just be like, ugh, ugh. Okay. Don't go rubbing now. <laughs> the instant I touch her, her coughing stops. That feels good. But I know. Hito suddenly lowers her voice. I tried hard during college and at work not to lose to men. But I'm all alone in the end. No one ever looks my way. I'm sure you're not interested in someone like me either, Gabu. Mature women? Fuck, I'm dead. This is hard. Talking to women is hard. <laughs> Hiro's lips twist bewitchingly, and then something falls on my head. I didn't see. What was it? Okay, let's redo that. Decide again. Does it put me right before the lady? Yeah, nice. Uh, let's skip ahead. Okay, so we did the- we fucked up the first one as well, so let's see. Have some shame is what we're gonna go with. Okay. Good. And then we're gonna pat the back. <laughs> and then... what do we do? <clears throat> I depend on you. Okay. Good. Now let's see if she can snap out of it. <laughs> Good voice acting. Hiro's shill laugh pitches into madness. Get it together! I shake her shoulders repeatedly. But she doesn't reply. Can't be. Is she... Her personality is suddenly and dramatically shifted, and this crazy laughter, cold sweat drips down my neck. This is almost like... Wait, who? Oh hey, dude! Daimon, you came! Sorry I'm late, I rushed over as soon as an emergency patient was stable. Did something happen? Well, look at her! I'm not sure, but... I quickly tell Daimon what's going on. He swiftly examines the laughing Hiro and turns, me, turns to me with his findings. No physical trauma, but her mind's confused. She needs to be hospitalized. We're on the third floor. How do we get her out? Learn to patient carry. We just need to get her on our backs. We need to hurry. If she's been poisoned, then time is everything. Poisoned? Right, I'll help. Are we just carrying a naked lady outside now? It was a bizarre and horrible night. In the end, Hiro kept cackling as we carried her out of the hotel. We put her in an ambulance and Daimon rode with her to the hospital. The siren blasts through the night. Exhaustion bears down on me and I find that I need to sit down. When I come back to my senses and look up... Do you see someone in the window of the hotel? Oh no. The rain already stopped.
The moment I get back to the mansion, I collapse on the sofa. Gah. Fury rises within me without an outlet. Why is this happening again? I'm sure I sealed Mary. So then why again? The image of Hiro earlier fixes in my mind. Fixed in my mind? I have to do something. Something... Her shrill laugh echoes in my ears. Maybe they get together in the end. Mm. Use talk to continue on to the next day. Talk to who? Mm, let's save. Uh, a little under 30 minutes, so... Let's go to the next day at least. I have to investigate again tomorrow. Once I'm done looking things up, I should go to bed early. I mean, what was there to look up? Was there someone I could have gone? I hear the rumble of something heavy moving around as I'm half asleep. Someone here? My brain is too sluggish for thought. I couldn't say how long I slept. I remember it being dawn, but... What? A loud noise makes me spring upright. Hey! Young eyes are staring at me. I'm so sorry. I woke you up. Suzu? What are you doing here? The room was messy, so I thought I'd clean it for you. <laughs> Sorry I didn't ask permission first. That's not exactly what I meant. What are you doing here? Oh, is the other dude here too? Oh, are you awake? Oh, hey, it's her! Jeez, are you a little too careless? Christy, you're here too? That's her name, right? She shrugs and sighs dramatically. <sighs> Very nearly rolling her eyes at me. You left the front door unlocked. Were you out investigating until late? It's not good to sleep on the sofa. Oh, we were on the sofa. I guess I didn't have the energy to make it up to my bedroom last night. Was I that tired? Yeah, something like that. Take better care of yourself. Oh, do you want some coffee? Yes, please. Oh, no, I'm fine for now, apparently. More importantly, why are you here? Christy glances over at me and huffs. I'm dropping off reports from Mr. Detective. Ah, oh, nice. Mr. Detective. Mashta. Must be research for Mashta's case. But who'd have thought Christy would listen to a request from him? That man is the worst. The attitude he had when asking for a favor. If I didn't owe you, I'd have flat out told him no. Who would you want him, Gabu, to hook up with? Christy or Mashta? Uh, Christy or Mashta? Well, Mashta's an option too, of course. Christy, Mashta, or... Hiro. Guess she didn't agree because she wanted to. I understand, but why is Suzu here too? I kinda want Hiro. Not not because I just saw her naked, I swear. <laughs> we exchanged numbers a while back. Yeah, she certainly surpri surprised me suddenly asking to be friends. It's the first time I've been friends with an adult. Christy whispers to me. I mean, I can't help but be worried. I have to make sure that creepy otaku isn't doing anything weird to her. Oh. They go after children sometimes. So that's why. She was worried about because Ada's so forward. More likely because Suzu is too innocent. But I'm a little relieved. You didn't seem very well when I was here before, so I've been worried. Mm, thanks. Seems you're fine now. I wish Ada could have come with us. But he's working at the factory today. Sounds like Ada started working seriously. Nice. Never too late to start something. I hope he tries hard. So moving on to the matter at hand. You heard how the owner of that hotel went missing, right? I have connections with the copy editor of that article, so I asked her. And sure enough, her expression clouds over. The hotel and rumors of its legal services were juicy news for the media. They even knew that there was a mediator organizing a mediator organization managing it. The reporters looking into the flow of cash has actually got some concrete proof. Concrete proof. This telling of the story is fascinating because Christy used to be in, th in the media herself. The things recorded in the guest books we found may have been connected. But before we talk about more about it... Susan, I'm sorry, but would you mind doing more cleaning? I've been putting it off for a long time, so the second floor is a giant mess too. <laughs> Just putting the girl to work. Oh, okay, I can do that. I'll borrow your cleaning supplies then. Susan skips up the stairs. 
Christy seems to immediately catch on. Not exactly a topic for kids' ears, huh? I'm sorry, I didn't realize. No, it really is messy up there. <laughs> anyway, tell me more. <laughs> yeah, so the media at the time should have been pursuing the heart of the matter, but it's likely this case was hardly reported on. It's like the case was hardly reported on. The media caught wind of the story, so the police should have been briefed on it as well. And yet what took place is in Masquerade is shrouded in darkness. It seems something something's behind all this. Behind? What do you mean? I don't know if this is true or not, but they had a whole list of all of Masquerade's customers. Famous politi politicians and businessmen were on it. And that reporter who got the proof... Uh, who got the proof up and went missing. A number of freelancers on the case also went missing, apparently. That's horrible. Those are the only words I could find to describe it. You're telling me. It's an outrage to silence those who are seeking the truth. It's bad, but it'd at least be a little better if... It was the work of regular humans. Work of regular humans? What do you mean by that? Well, we just saw a ghosty. Exactly what it sounds like. The truth is... I tell Christy about what happened yesterday. What we found in the hotel and what happened to Hiro. The color drains from Christy's face until she's as white as a sheet. Suzu, we're leaving. With her sudden yell, Chrissy stands up and prepare, prepares to leave. She doesn't want to get involved. What's wrong? No one told me. What? No one said a single thing about spirits like that being involved. I'm sorry, but I can't do this. I'm never going to face a spirit again. And I'm not just thinking about B. I don't want Suzu going through that either. Thinking about it makes sense. Yeah. No one has the right to drag Christy and Suzu into a case like this, especially me. What about Mashta then, who dragged you into this? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get you involved. The research you've done is enough, so don't concer concern yourself about it anymore. Christy looks at me in stunned surprise. No, I should be the one apologizing. I owe you. You did everything you could to save us. But we... Something the matter? Susu re-enters the room, head tilted in confusion. Hmm? I just remembered something I have to do, so we need to leave. Sorry. You can keep cleaning next time, okay? <laughs> okay, I understand. Susan nods, though she looks suspicious. She's very perceptive. perceptive. She has to have picked up the strain strained air between us. Well then, see you, Mr. Gabu. Right, thanks for coming all this way. You were a great help. I'm very grateful. Christy quickly bows to me, her expression inscrutable. Inscrutable? Excuse us, I'll come again sometime, okay? Susu puts her hands together and bows politely. Then she whispers in my ear so Christy can't overhear. I'm so sorry, I caught a little bit of what you were talking about earlier. Aww, so I contacted Ada. I'm sure he'll be helpful. Yay, new partner! Oh. To be honest, I can't imagine Ata being very useful. <laughs> but Suza has good intentions, so I nod. I'm sure he can do something. Thanks, that helps. There must be something he can help us with. I do my best to smile as I see them out of the mansion. I need to get ready soon and head out. Cool. And with that, I will save, and that'll be this episode. I hope you guys like it, and I will see you soon with another one. Probably gonna be the end of the chapter soon, right? I think one or two more episodes should probably do it. I'm not sure, but that's my guess, Can, seeing how the length of these episodes, uh, these chapters usually are. I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you! Bye!